Hey boys and welcome to a new episode of the Rise of Austria series. The clash with Brazil is still going on. It was a mystery the army of Brazil because until now we only saw his navy. We did not see if he has air force, we did not see if he has what kind of army he has. But our spies did the work for us. Our spies, they are going to reveal everything about Brazil in a short time. But we will only need to uh, wait for another day for our Intel spies to work their way through the cities of Brazil and the reveal of his armies. But keep watching till the end to see what kind of levels Brazil possesses. But meanwhile, after we saw that he is making cruises in his city of uh, Rio de Janeiro, I am going to plant a lot of sabotage agents in his cities of Brasilia and Rio de Janeiro. What these um, sabotage agents do? Well, they destroy infrastructures. If the enemy doesn't have um, counter ops or he only have one or two counter ops, our sabotage agents, they are going to carry on missions of the sabotage of his infrastructures. So if I manage to uh, damage his arms industries, I will stop the production of cruisers until my elite battle group reaches that city. By the time we reach that city, we are going fiercely to destroy his coastal cities and stop him once and for all from making any more cruisers. Here I'm still scouting for the Brazilian task force and here it is, finally. We detected the, uh, the naval radar with our air superiority fighter. Now I am going to fly over it to see what is it, what kind of ships, what kind of task force, because we saw it uh, shortly before bombarding our coastal city of Bordeaux. A reminder that Bordeaux is our next city. Well, it is one damaged cruiser. I believe this task force that was uh, fighting against us in the Gibraltar Strait, but Brazil did not choose to go to the Mediterranean Sea because his task force is almost dead, so he went straight to the north, maybe to uh, attack me in the United Kingdom or attack my northern coast, I don't know. But he knows for a fact that if he enters uh, the Mediterranean Sea with that almost dead cruiser, he will die instantly. This is the table, we are first, like usual, uh, me and Brazil with 1400 points, uh, it's uh, the win, it's between me and him. Here I am trying to sabotage as much Syrian cities as possible, I don't want him to be back in this game. So I'm trying to roam with my national guards all around his homeland cities. Also a reminder that he destroyed all of the last land defenses of East Austria in Europe and also in his homeland cities using our conventional uh, cruise missiles, nuclear cruise missiles, the bombardment of our task forces as well. This is the Donbass region. I'm going to recover the city of Donetsk after I successfully recovered Dnipro. Uh, Kiev, I killed the Syrian armies there in Kiev, but it's now taken over by insurgencies. I will recover it later. There is a land radar near the city of Fortaleza. I will try to attack it, but my ships that are still on the cooldown, so I am going to wait for 30 minutes cooldown. Uh, I will advance with the uh, uh, second task force, but I will dive deep with my elite battle group to be able to land a hit on that land radar after the cooldown period. I'd like to see what kind of land army that is, maybe on TI division, maybe Artillery division, maybe also tank division, we do not know what is it, but I'm 100% sure that it is a hard target because ships do not see infantry, because infantry, they are classified as low targets. So like we said, it is a tank division. Okay, it is fleeing away from the coast. He saw that I am attacking him with my ship, so he chose to go inland to save himself from my attacks, from my bombardments. While I am passing by, I will keep bombarding every and each coastal city I pass by, uh, including Fortaleza, Recife, until I go to Rio de Janeiro. He is uh, crossing the English Channel, but uh, I, did, I chose to not send my task force there. It's going to be a waste of time. Instead, I um, I chose a quicker, a swifter measure, countermeasure. I sent my strike fighters and launched two cruise missiles to get rid of that cruiser once and for all.
our anti-missile systems that are upgraded to level 2. I'm making more and more cruisers in my cities. Now I have uh, quite a good amount of components and I gathered a little bit of uh, electronics for my cruisers, of course, because I need more ships. I don't know when United States of America is going to join the party. So I need to be fully prepared for this. Okay, our cruise missiles, they are a few seconds away from the impact. Three minutes in game time. Okay, the first one has landed, it's almost dead. This is why I sent two by my calculations. It's going to require two cruise missiles to kill that one cruiser roaming the English Channel. His on tier has been activated, but it's uh, almost dead. Nothing serious. Less than 1 HP damage. Let's see how I will kill it. Let's keep a look. Okay, green notification. The cruiser is finally dead. Okay, now our English channel has been secured. Now let's focus on other tasks on other regions. Let's have a look on the Americans. Look at that, boys. Finally, the United States of America has declared war on us. That was actually expected. And look at this. There was a huge, a huge spies battle between Austria and Brazil. These all, vi uh, these all um, notifications, they are about my spies doing missions in his lands and his spies doing missions in my lands. Well, I... He actually intercepted a lot of my spies but now we are going to check the intel panel and have a look at the brazilian army and what kind of intel our um our spies has revealed his coastal cities they are destroyed our elite battle group has done an amazing work bombarding his coastal cities so these are the casualties between us he has thirty thousand. i have only four thousand seven thousand okay let's have a look now um, he has four convention warheads. Well, look at this cruise missiles level four ballistic missiles level two He has max level motorized infantry, max level mobile on tier level four mobile tanks level six mobile artilleries Whoa, I did not expect that level six mobile artilleries level one infantry officer and uh, Level four destroyers level three cruisers. Okay, the cruiser in Rio de Janeiro has been posed because it destroyed his city of Rio. Look at this. He planted an agent in my city of Palermo, but he managed to execute his mission. So what does this mean? This means that Brazil, he has also intel about me because he planted a lot of spies, uh, 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 intel spies in my city. So he knows that I am making cruisers, he knows that I am making motorized infantry, and also he knows that I'm making convention warheads in the city of Villac. So basically here it was a huge battle between Brazil and Austria, a huge intel battle, a huge spies battle. But now uh, United States of America has declared war on us, but he didn't really appear yet. He did not attack me yet. He didn't do anything, he only declared war. Well, that maybe he did that to secure his coast. Because when we are not at war and he uh, plants, like, let's say, attack submarines all over the intersections, my navy can cross by those submarines. But if he declares war and we are in a situation of war, if he closes his coastal cities with a lot of navies, my ships will not cross, not until I kill his ships. Now I have 1,500 uh, victory points, Brazil has 1,445 victory points and we are one step closer to the solo and it's going to be hard, I know, it's going to be exhausting, but it's worth it. Thank you guys for watching today's episode, we are going to meet in the next one. Bye bye.